Alright, so I'm gonna go over the PSP route now. This is the uh, route where you can uh, get an extra attack upgrade on the Shining Laser, and it makes the end game quite a bit easier because of how much faster you're killing the bosses. So, I have prepared a few save states that go over the changes, and uh, yeah, we'll go over them one by one. So this is the beginning here. As usual, fight the boss. Two doubles, not bad. So the main difference, first off, at the beginning here is after we grab the missiles, we're going to start the junk shop quest. By the way, yes, the PSP version does let you run in native widescreen. That's how I play it. So once you get the missiles, you want to go over here. Then we talk to the junk shop guy. First option, first option. Gives you an item, and you leave. In English, it's like a Reaverbot Claw or something like that. But in Japanese, I think it's a freaking porn magazine. <laughs> then you continue the game like normal, because uh, all we needed to do at the start here is to just start the quest. So next, this is the this is one of the most important parts. You want to become Dark Mega Man, and this is like one of the easiest places to do it. So we're gonna switch to Lifter and throw Johnny off. Oh, whoops. I'm not sure if he counted. Now I think he counted because he bumped. If he bumps the surface like that and then falls, it won't count towards your darkness points. So you should probably jump before you throw him. There we go. See, my armor got darker. Now, if you want to get fully dark right off the bat, instead of waiting for the next mission to also throw Johnny off. You can also throw these guys off. There. Now my armor is maximum darkness, but I want to get rid of this nice guy too, just because... Just to be extra sure. But anyway, now that we're maximum dark, the next part that we have to worry about is... here. Okay, I got rid of them. So we're maximum dark and we're here in Salkata Ruins. And this is right before the uh, giant lava room with the, uh, the two missile guys. I believe in my main tutorial I showed the route you can take to get up to the two treasure chests that have uh, 50 something thousand zenny like 54k drop big jump platform jump go in thirty k twenty four k now, if you really want to, you can kill the missile guy and then just take a safer way towards that platform. But if you want to go fast, you're going to have to do some dodging. Now, I'm going to finish this rune here. Because what happens afterward is also important for this quest. And it's the main reason why we need that extra money. You'll see once I go ahead and beat Tron and Bon Bon here. I realized I had an extra save state to work with, but I guess I wasn't paying much attention. Oh well, it's not a big deal.
Alright, so we completed the ruin. We grabbed extra money. We're Dark Mega Man. And we want to go over here. We want to talk to this guy. Because he won't talk to you at all if you're not dark. So, this is why we need the 50k from the ruin. So we give him 50k and he gives us an item. I think. No, we give him an item and he gives us 50k. So we got 50k from the ruins, he gave us 50k. And then we're going to buy this from him for 100. Let's see. Alright. So we got an item from him for 100k. And then, let's see, I'm trying to remember here. I believe the next part is you complete Kalinka Ruins. This one. I believe this state already has a dungeon completed. Yeah, this state had 50k right there. And then what we're going to do here... After we beat the dungeon... We're going to go over here to the right, back into the junk shop again. And here's where we finish the quest. So talk to him. First option. Second option, because we're going to try to sell it to him for 300k. Do not go for 500k or else he'll get pissed and sell it to you for like 10. Instead of 500, so... First option, second option, first option here for 300k. So now we have 350. And that is exactly what we want. Because we're going to upgrade the first level of the attack on the laser for 50. And then the remaining 300 is for the second upgrade. And then I'll demonstrate the end game with a crazy strong laser. Oh, I forgot to switch to the missiles. Here, let me do that real quick. <laughs> there we go. You can ground crawler geats, but I would not recommend it on PSP version. It's doable on PS1, but even then you're still reliant on RNG. Would definitely not recommend ground crawler. I mean, it is optimal. Just good luck. So we're gonna go ahead and beat Geats. Then we're gonna grab the uh, other shining laser parts. Easy peasy. Wow, oh, I didn't know you can land on it from that far away. So here's the other laser part, like usual. Make it and double upgrade instead of single upgrade. So here's the first upgrade we normally get no matter what route you do. This one for 50k. And this is why this route is mainly good for PSP version. Because on PlayStation this upgrade costs 500k. You can technically adapt this app, this upgrade to the PS1 version, but like the extra money I explained in the main tutorial that you would get 
for like extra armor and canteens and stuff, you'd have to put all that money into this upgrade. But on PSP, you can do the side quest and just get a little bit of extra money and you can get it. On PS1, you'd have to do the side quest and get all that extra money for the armor and canteens and crap. But on PSP, we can actually afford to get this. And you'd only be down like maybe 20 seconds from the optimal route. And you can still technically get second place, if not world record, with this route. Technically. But if you want to be, you know, really good at the game, I would I wouldn't recommend it. But if you're trying to do runs and stuff, yeah, this this route is really good. So now I'll demonstrate how much quicker stuff dies with a stronger laser. See that? Oh, please. Game, please. Whatever, as long as they're dead. You know, I probably should have made a safe state for the boss three fights, but it still kind of matters for these rooms, too. See how fast that is? I wish this laser wasn't so... wasn't like 20 seconds out of the way. Or else I would totally be running this route all the time. But yeah, if you weren't already aware by the uh, input display down there, PSP version, the controls are a little bit different, a little jank. Because an actual PSP didn't have an L2 and an R2, so they had, they had the map lock on to holding both L1 and R1. And then operating the camera with the stick, uh, you can't um, you can't move the camera while you're moving, which does suck. Because I believe in the main tutorial I did highlight which parts you uh, would have an advantage on PlayStation with the control change. But it's never been like a huge deal. It's only been like minor advantages. Other than Geats anyway. On PlayStation you can way more likely use the ground crawler on Geats. PSP, it's technically possible. I've done it before, but it's really bad. That's just bad aim. Oops. Almost landed on that guy. Ah, oh, corner. Alright, so here you go to the boss rush. 
you'll definitely start to see how much better the stronger laser is. Especially for the jellyfish. <laughs> so fast. My laser is so broken. <laughs> I might be able to take away his entire health bar here. Almost. Yeah, I don't remember if I went over it in my main tutorial, but it doesn't matter if you make his health like if you get rid of all his health and his health is at zero, he has to do this move right here. It's not possible for him to die before he has to do this. It's pretty much required. Really sucks, but oh well. Now the jellyfish coming up is where this route is most important. Like they become so easy. You can kill almost all three of them, if not kill all three of them before you get hit by the first spark. See how fast that is? Crazy. The damage is so nuts. Oh. Let's see if I can get all three of them before I get hit. There we go. Crazy powerful laser. So again, it's another reason why I recommend running this version of the game. Underwater ruins are not slowed down. Uh, weapon upgrades are cheaper, other than the ground crawler. They made that one a little more expensive, but not really enough to impact the speedrun route. Like, hardly at all. And then, last time, we couldn't really afford to laser this guy, but now we can. Oh, really? With level 1 laser, you can't really afford to. It was better to just buster him. But with level 2 laser... Yeah. Really strong. <laughs> And then with Sarah, I'm pretty sure you do not have to bother looking for her weak spot with this strong of a laser. I think you can just lock onto her and you'll be good to go.
Alright, let's check it out. See, that's like the same damage as you would get from aiming at the weakness, except you don't have to. You're like always getting weakness damage. I only aim beforehand. Whoops. Oh. Yeah, I only aim beforehand just so I don't have to, like, wait for lock on to track her for me. Alright, restore energy as usual. Yeah, see, it pretty much doesn't matter. You don't have to aim at her weakness, you can just lock on. And done. Upgraded laser. Like, upgraded even further is the best. Just too bad this route optimally is like 20 seconds slower. But I mean, if you're trying to complete runs and stuff, it doesn't matter all that much. So if you run this version, definitely pick up this route unless you're trying to go for like record tier runs, then don't do this route. But yeah. So. That's the extra laser attack route. It's, I wouldn't say it's technically exclusive to the PSP. You can adapt it to PS1 routes, but you wouldn't be getting the extra armor and canteens. You'd have to save all that money for upgrading the laser again. So you would have to like get the buster part in Kalinka and then open the third pink mammoth door for the chest with 50k in it. And then do the whole side quest I showed off here. And then you would have to put all of that into the next upgrade. And you wouldn't be able to get armor and stuff. So you technically can do it on PS1. But it's actually not that much slower at all to do it on PSP. So yeah, I recommend running this version with this route. But anyway, thanks for watching and hope you enjoyed.